Alrighty, everyone. Welcome to Horus. I've seen a little bit of gameplay of this, I'm not gonna lie. And all I know, literally all I know, is that I'm a robot butler. That's all I know of this game, and that... And that... And that I get power-ups. It's gonna be a platformer, and I've also been told... This is a long, long game. So sit down, because we're going to have long episodes. I'm sorry if you don't like long episodes, but that's... <laughs> oh, excuse me, I just hiccup. Eh. Eh. Hiccups. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> no, we're going to have long episodes of this, so please, please, please stick around for this entire thing. I'm going to hope I do the entire thing. I kind of have left off... Uh, certain games, you know, just not finishing them, but this will be different. Let's do this. Let's start a new game. It says continue, but I can't actually select it. I've tried. Also, what's in the options? Subtitles, yes, please. Always subtitle. Audio, uh, I think the effects are good for now. If it changes, let me know in the comments. Let's do this. Oh, it actually, okay, no save. Oh, it's got save stuff. Let's do it. Hmm, them 1990s graphics. Actually, this looks really cool. <laughs> is that me? Or is it just a random robot? I'll shut up now. I crave. <laughs> That's the little part I know. That this this is all I've seen of the game, where you kind of just shipped in a box. Oh, it actually has little sound effects. Did you just drop him? No. Bad. Solomon Automatons. Okay. Yo. Is he just... Is he just gonna keep smoking? I guess so? Oh, he's on break. I get it. <laughs> Oh, is this me? Oh. Eh, I can't walk so much. I can look up? I can look down, okay. I'm gonna go, can I go back into my box? I just wanna stay in here. I don't wanna see the world yet. Can I even, can I talk? Can I, no, I'm, I'm pressing buttons, I can't do anything. Okay, that's how I pause, good to know. All right. Hello. I am baby boy of blue and orange. And so, I was born. Oh! <laughs> the first people I remember seeing were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down so he could install some software. <laughs> Is Heather the only one with the name? I could tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice or stupid personality. That's great. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Aww. Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Okay. Hold X to dash? Oh, okay, I can actually run. Oh, I can jump! Wait, I'm a weeb. This robot is a weeb, Naruto run! 
Yes! He has a pretty... Ooh, if I hold the button, I get more airtime. If I just tap it... Okay, that's awesome. Classic NES style. Next, the old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them. Okay, I, I can do that. Admit, I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. I decided this is fine because I saw a child endanger their life for it. I mean, that kind of makes sense, actually. So, yes, A to jump. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Whoop. Okay, I only have like a two block high jump from what I can see here. Yes, okay. Cool. Whee! Hello. The old man then rearranged the platforms. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Okay. He said, the floors made it louder. But when I smiled at her, she just frowned. Aww. The old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. I mean, what if it's both? Why not? It's a don't touch the floor. Okay. Oop, I almost fell. Easy. When I reached the other side. The old man just smiled and said, that'll do, for now. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, begin, be bold, and venture to be wise. Learning to walk. Okay, I'll, I'm down chapter one. That was good. That was cool. Oh, it's snowing. Is it Christmas? It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Is it Christmas, actually? I don't know. Where are we even? All I know is that I'm a robot. And I have a... That's Rainbow Dash. That's... That was a Rainbow Dash. A couple of days after those first lessons, the family had a big meal, and I was introduced to everyone else. Cool. The professor was the old man's brother. He was very quiet, and always seemed to just... kind of stare at me. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred instead to stay in his room, leaving everything up to his butler, Mr. Deck. As he insisted everyone call him, huh. although the professor always called him Anton. For a while, he called me the yellow bastard. Aww. But the old man made him stop, as he thought it sounded racist. I mean, kind of. Mr. Silton was the old man's driver. Oh. Before he worked here, he'd gotten in with some bad people and was the driver in the post office robbery. Oh, wow. Although it all went wrong for some reason. Mr. Silton showed oh. me a video of his band. I'm sure some people must like it, but I just found it terrifying. Oh. Poor then robot Alice. boy. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Aww. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She kept old newspapers and bicycles. And something about a poo in a shoebox. Wait, what? Hold on, I want to know about the poo in the shoebox. Now that's interesting. The next morning, the old man gathered everyone together to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Could he help me with my newspaper collecting? asked Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady. She's not that old. can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton. Shove a stick up his ass and he can do Dex jobs. <laughs> oh, come on, that was a good burn. Said the old man. We have company pointing to some important-looking people. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man referred to as lasers. Okay. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I okay. shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. Huh. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. But when he realized I didn't understand, he said he would explain another time. 
Okay, so now I'm supposed to make it to the other end of the room without dying, basically. Okay, can I still look up? Yeah, okay. Good to know. Oh. At least that's obvious. Whoop. That almost got me. Whoop. Okay, that's... That's smarts. I like how we get a little close-up of me. Oh. It's not actually on a timer. It's how I was on screen. Yeah, it's how long I've been on screen. That's interesting. Hello. I kind of lived... Everybody clapped, except the important looking men. Why? Not exactly a cold calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The man in gray laughed. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. What? Move right, unless there's something in the way. Okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, they're going to make it quite a bit tougher, but I'm sure you'll be fine. I died twice. I'll be fine, you say? I'm dumb. Is this where I sleep? I'm sorry. Is this where I sleep? Because I always start here. Alright, so they're gonna make it more difficult. Okay, so I have to go down, actually. Okay. Cool. Down here. Can I go past here? Yes, I can, but I will also die. Good to know. Cool. I'm guessing I go up. Yeah, I go up here. Okay. Ah -ha -ha. Okay, I. Mm, ah, freaking. I am not good at this apparently. That's that's good to know. That is very good to know. Can I jump like this? Hold on. No, that was just. Oh, kind of. That's cute. All right. Uh, yep. There we go. That. Ah. I'm. I... I need to get better. I am not good at this, apparently. It's been a while since I played a platformer. I just realized that. Oof. Okay. And up and up. I'm guessing I go up here? Yes. Okay. Nice. Is that it? Please let that be it. The Garys then All right. rearrange the room one last time. The Garys. The man smiled. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum, he said. I'm still happy with everything you've done today. Aww. So this time, I was determined to do him proud. I will. Okay, I'm not going to be dumb. I'll try to do him proud. All right. Yep, I thought so. Here. And here. Okay. Alright, there we go. There we go, awesome. The old man's friends actually seemed quite happy when I made it through. Yeah! We might have a winner after all. I didn't die! Said the man in black. It's no kill bot 3000, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. I have fire in my eyes? A couple of days later, the old lady said she had a surprise for me. Oh? My own room. Yeah! She also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. <laughs> Wait. Is this? Yeah! Oh, it's so cute. Such a happy boy. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. I couldn't believe what I saw. I watched everything I could. Comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. Anything anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with them. Awesome. Then one day, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, this is what I meant. When I said video games. Oh dang! <laughs> I played games at every chance I could. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. I had enjoyed music, film, and television. 
but to me, video games really were the highest art form. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just Pong. Like, rightfully so. But Pong was a high art form for when it came out, and it inspired so much today. Wait, what? Do I get to play? Okay. Okay. We're actually playing Pong. Kind of. What? Oh, I thought I could... Is there a way to tilt it? Like he does? Kind of? There we go. Oh, it's getting faster. Hey, okay. Oh, dang, that one was quick. Okay. Is he letting me win? Hold on, is he letting me win? Oh, no, okay. I have to get better at this. I can't- I can't afford to lose to the master. Or to the- to the old man. What ha- Okay, no, that- I was- I was forced to win there. Heather's birthday was a couple of months later. Aw. Her mom and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a day up by the sea, so that Heather could take some photos, although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. Aww. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing, it could destroy the world. I wasn't sure what he meant, but the old man just smiled and said, that's what you said about the Game Boy. <laughs> on, how about you? I don't think so said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch of Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. <laughs> the old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove. Oh, wait, how did... How did I pause? Wait. Why? The alleys came... Oh, I can pause cutscenes. That's good to know. Along for the fresh air. Oh, bunny. I, I think. Being outside. Although the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways, it felt like she was telling me off. But I think she was just concerned. She's just a mom. Yeah. I still don't know their names. I just know them by Old Man, Old Lady, and Heather. Which is kind of accurate, actually. As the old man and I stood on the clifftops, I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, what is so it? So I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. Oh. But he looked so sad when he spoke about war. 1940s battleship, huh? <laughs> Oh! I didn't see what happened, but the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. Oh, she no. was safe, even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. Oof. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be. Let me so go down I there! to climb down and get her. Yeah! The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. Oh, That's... okay. Oh, these crumble. These crumble. Alright. This is a long way out. Alright. Not too bad. The running and jumping I can do. I was about to say, the dodging of electricity, was though. Unconscious, and her leg was broken. Oh, it is? So I picked her up as gently as I could. Please do. I decided it would be best. If I didn't run the rest of the way. Oh, don't run, okay. So no running. Gotcha. I'm actually gonna try to play this as safe as I can. Right now, at least. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I messed up, honestly. I think I did it, yeah! An ambulance had arrived by the time I had made it back to the clifftop. 
The medics made sure Heather was okay, and then took her off to hospital. Good. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine, but would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. That's good for being a lot. Yeah, give her that smile. Yes! <laughs> friendship! Oh, friendship achieved. <laughs> Robot saves local- Not as important. Are you thinking too much? Smaller font to legible expert study reveals. I'm sorry, I was reading the small headlines and it was great. What is happening here? Vroom. Vroom. <laughs> this is me. Vroom. Vroom? Vroom. Can she take off the cast? Yeah, there we go. Once Heather got to know me, we became good friends. We enjoyed the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. <laughs> that face of betrayal. After a while, she became very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did. Oh dang. If not more. Is she going to become my mechanic? Because that'd be great. I mean, we're already best friends. We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries. As when it came to teaching me things, the old man always liked to pick interesting locations. He had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. W wait, what? Taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. Also, the pyramid wood, was that a, just a pixelated and PNG? He showed me science in action high up in a hot air balloon. <laughs> this is why I was surprised when the old man took me to a restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. I mean, you gotta slow down he once said in a he while. He just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Plus, it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, Douglas Adams. Wait, what? <laughs> everything, really. When I asked him, why were we here? Why did we exist? He just smiled and said, life is like a game. Just don't expect to be finished anytime soon. Wait, what? When I looked puzzled, he said, well, everyone should have a purpose. So I asked him, what's my purpose? Oh no. He thought for a bit, then said, So you want to be a real boy? Wait, what? Which just confused me even more. Same! Eventually the old man said, For now, I want you to help clean things around the house. Okay. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, Okay, I want you to clean one million things. Oh. It wow. didn't sound like the meaning of life. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. <laughs> I guess, yeah. It's better than turning it to Skynet. A man can't have everything. Where would he put it? I really like that. Chapter 2. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software. Okay. So he powered me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me. And that I should pull his finger. <laughs> I don't think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. Okay. This time when I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. <laughs> I can smell that. The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. Oh. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby. And how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. Huh? It all sounded very complicated. But he said all I really had to do was pause. And it would bring up all the information I needed. Okay. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. Okay. He told me there would be some chains to climb. But that would be nice and easy as I just had to press up. Okay. He then finished by saying, when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. I will. Okay, I do I still sleep in- Oh no, I can go past the box now. Okay. So I just pick stuff up like this? Oh, 
21 junk combo. Wait, I can destroy these? Hold on, I just- okay, hold on. Hold on, I just learned I could destroy those dumpsters, and I want to destroy the dumpsters at the beginning now, so... Give me a second here. Yeah, is there more? No, it's just that one, okay. Also, it seems I have to hover over them for a little longer than I thought. Okay, let's get the stuff up top first. Is there bolted? Yeah, there it is. Is that a car? Yeah, I have to... Okay, bigger stuff takes longer, looks like. Which I guess makes sense. Just didn't expect it, honestly, out of this game. I could just... I can just kind of slide down, look at this, like, near. <laughs> just all the junk, huh? Okay. I think that's it. Unless I missed something that's, like, close by. But no. I'm good. Alright. Hello. Now, wait, did I miss something? Uh, junk here, five. Junk total, 15. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm missing five junk somewhere. Is it up here somewhere? No. Is it down here somewhere? It's not in the middle here, right? No, I didn't think so. Oh, it was this... It was this dumpster. Yep, there we go. That's funny. I guess I gotta look for smashable stuff I can just kinda ground jump on? Hello! The old man then asked the old lady, Heather, and I to follow him outside. I okay. was happy too, as it was a lovely hot day. A lovely hot day. The old man said he was worried that Alice had been calling again. She had filled up a small barn with old bicycles and newspapers. Huh. Heather said, this would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, then said, using the Steptoe chip, Step I should find and clean at least 300 things. When we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. What? But after the old lady kindly explained that, well, the barn was starting to smell. She said it would be okay. Okay, cool. One last thing, said the old man. If you want to use a door, just push up. Okay. When I was about to enter the old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found. He then winked, but I wasn't sure why. Same. Okay, I think... Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean for that, but okay. Uh, I think this is actually where I'm gonna end it off. Can I save? No. Did I just go back? Quit the titles? And can I just start here on the continue? Yes, okay. So, I think this is where we're gonna end it off. I am kinda liking how charming this game is. I don't know how else to put it, it's just really charming, it's really fun. I am sorry again that these are going to be longer episodes, but as you can see, we only did about two chapters, and that's been... I want to say more than 20 minutes, maybe 25, I don't know, I don't have a watch with me right now. But thank you guys so much for enjoying... And for enjoying... Yes, I assume you enjoyed this, you better enjoy it. You're just enjoying it right now. Now, thank you for joining me on this. It was really fun. I wanted to put face cam on, but eh. I kind of just like the game aspect of the game, if that made sense. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye